Yo, what's up YouTube? I'm back here with another video. That's right, here's gonna be a cold video. Anyway, we're back with the Dell Precision T3500. What I'm gonna be doing with this computer is, is I'm going to be uh, cleaning it out. We have another issue that's going on with my computer, uh, which I don't really understand. I don't know if I have a bad riser board or if I have uh, a bad CPU. We'll get into that um, later on in this video. Anyway, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by removing the bottom screws. All right, so uh, here's the heat sink. We need to uh, focus on removing this here uh, CPU out of this uh, computer. Here we have the Dell Precision. This right here is the T7500 riser. What I need to do is this here, just move that now real carefully. It's got like a little clip here. No big deal. All right, so I'm gonna uh, try to give y'all a short little uh, story of um, what happened with this here. I don't know if it's the riser or the CPU. I guarantee you that it is not the memory. I had uh, a good friend help me out and he suggested, uh, you know, taking the RAM that was on board that is on the motherboard taking that out and putting it in here so that's what you're seeing right now and as you can see they have heat sinks this right here is the Dell memory and everything and the memory that was in here though I just took and I put it uh, on board on the motherboard I know that there's nothing wrong with the actual uh, memory itself. I want to say it's either the riser board or the CPU. Back to what I was saying though, I think it's the riser board because I was reading on a form and someone they were saying that they moved their computer from one place to another. In my situation, I need to clean out my um, Dell Precision T7500. It was in the living room. I brought it right out here where we're standing right now, or where I'm standing anyway. That's where I started experiencing uh, problems. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna re uh, remove uh, this heat sink. We should be able to remove, there we go. There's that. We're gonna remove this Intel Xeon 5680 from this riser board. That, and there's that right there. So now we need to install it into the um, Precision T3500 just to test it out. So we got the processor installed. All right, so uh, it seems that the processor is working fine. Now install it into the T7500 and we're gonna see what happens. All right, so um, we're back here with this video. I done some uh, research on uh, line. Nobody on the internet has solved this now even I didn't even solve this problem I'm about to show you right now what I had did we're gonna head over to the beast all right so um, we got the riser back in everything is working just fine the problem was that the riser it wasn't making contact back here right back there 
wasn't making a, a good connection. So uh, I'm gonna show y'all what I had done. This right here is not a permanent fix, but what I done was uh, I took some washers. All right, I took them washers, and what I done is I had raised this here board up. That makes it level. So uh, let's go to the computer now. And um, let's see what we got going on over here. All right, so uh, here is my CPU. Everything is working just fine. All right, let's start here. I'm running uh, two Intel Xeons uh, 5680s. As you can see, we have two processors. This right here. So anyway, a lot of people have uh, been trying to figure out and, and you know diagnose this problem it's with the uh, riser board um, the little plastic tray that sits um, in the actual computer I'm about to um, show you all that right now alrighty so uh, I started reading this here this right here is it's not helping me I scroll down and then um, I read um this person's comment here this right here is back from um looks like may 16th 2015. here's the part where everybody needs to uh pay attention to that flimsy plastic riser tray looks like it had settled settled down a little bit and they were saying that they installed some makes makeshift uh shims under the tray in this person's computer here three quarters height and then it says uh dell t7500 precision second cpu riser i looked at that and i was like i don't think i got any quarters i was like let me go grab some washers so i had uh went and grabbed some washers y'all can look at this here i'm gonna leave the link down in the description below where y'all can um have a link to this page here and also this page and uh anyway what they done was is they drilled a hole right here at first i didn't understand it you can see where the hole was drilled so what they done was is they took um this bolt here and then they took some nuts down uh, at the bottom and what they was doing was they was jacking the riser up. Best way I know how to explain it. I think I'm gonna do this also as well. This right here, it most definitely worked. With all that right there being said, um, this right here is gonna get done. The jam nuts, two jam nuts, right down here nylock nut I have to look that up and then you can adjust this uh, nylock nut and that's gonna raise the riser up this issue has been resolved it's helped me so now I'm gonna help you so anyway uh, with that being said I hope y'all like this video and uh, stay tuned for more videos my friend is uh, watching this or going to watch this. We both learned something, man, that you had the same problem. I'm Mr. Whitezilla. Hope y'all like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Give it a thumbs down if you did not like it. Peace out, and I will see you in the next video.